So you're looking to use social media to build your business, you're looking to brand yourself, you're looking to step up your game like most real estate agents out there. Uh, what's up guys, this is Enrique, PRG Real Estate, brokered by EXP, and I wanna talk to you guys today about social media and some of the tips and strategies that we use uh, on our team to brand ourselves and market ourselves amongst our friends and family. Um, it's no doubt that if you're in the industry, you probably have realized by now that social media can be a powerful tool that when used properly can really catapult your business. It can get you know more people in front of you. It can generate leads and business and all sorts of things. But the biggest um, thing that I hear from a lot of agents is they don't know what to post on social media. They're like, what should I post? How do I come up with content? Or I see a lot of agents just posting the, the old just sold, just listed, and that's all they post. And you know, I, I think there needs to be a better strategy in that I'm gonna share kind of what we're doing and, and what has been really effective to build our brand. So what I like to you know start off with is just really thinking about social media from the mindset of the consumer, like you yourself, what you know, who do you follow on social media? Who do you who do you always look you know for content, you know, look to for content? What pages do you find interesting Interesting, and why do you find those pages interesting? I think as, uh, as someone who's gonna post out there and put messages out there, you have to think like, what, is, what do people wanna see? And you know, one, you know, one of the rules that I like to follow and I teach this to my team is to kind of break up your, uh, your strategy in thirds. So we have the one third rule. So I recommend one third of the stuff you put out there should be just personal content. Like, who you are, what you like to do outside of real estate, you with your friends, you with your family, you know, you doing, you know, activities outside of work because now people can relate to you when it comes to that. Um, if all you post is just business, 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 you start to look like a robot after a while and a lot of people can't relate to just you posting just sold all the time, you know? So I definitely think you have to showcase your personal side, your personal life so people can relate to you. Now, another thing that I recommend is, is doing one third of your, your posts and your content around examples of success. And this is where you sh you're showcasing, you know, things like just sold, you know, just listed this home, or I just helped these clients out, or look at my five star review, because that's letting the consumers know that you are successful in your real estate business. You're showing them proof of your work. So I definitely think that should be uh, mixed into the content strategy. Now, the other, part of, uh, of that pie there, the other one third um, that I recommend is showing the behind the scenes stuff, you know, showing while you're out, you know, showing a home to a client or you're on your way to an appointment or you're preparing for an appointment or, um, you know, maybe giving some insight to a story or something that happened in your day because a lot of people like to see that. They want to know what's going on behind the scenes, you know. Um, that's why reality shows are so popular because people like to see the behind the scenes stuff. So. I definitely think you gotta mix it up and don't just you know be robotic and just only post one thing. The more you can mix it up, what that does is it creates variety in your content. It, gets, it keeps people on their toes. It keeps them interested because there's always something new. If, if all of your posts, think about it, they all look the same. It's all just, just listed, just sold every single time and that's all you post on Facebook or Instagram, people get bored of that after a while. So you have to mix it up so that it keeps people entertained and it keeps them coming back for more. Now, you know, just some of the, the, the tips also that I'm gonna recommend is number one, you gotta mix in your personality. Every single person has a different personality and brings something different to the table. So you wanna showcase really who you are and just be yourself. You know, if you're trying to emulate or be like another top producing agent out there, you're not being authentic. And when people meet you in person, which that's the goal, if you're trying to generate business, they're gonna see that you're not that person that you are on, you know, trying to be on social media. And this is a part that a lot of agents struggle with is, is they're trying to be like someone they're not. Um, when really you're unique and, and what you bring to the table, you're gonna attract people who resonate with that. You know, so you wanna, you know, be yourself and don't try to be perfect. You know, even just in this video right now, I've, I've stopped, I've stuttered, I've had ums. It, it's not scripted. It's, you know, I have some, some notes that I'm looking at, you know, but it's really off the cuff and it, you know, I'm trying to make this as authentic and as, uh, as real as possible. So it's important that you don't try to be perfect because when you're perfect, people can't relate to perfect. We're all human, all right? Um, and the last thing that I'm gonna recommend, guys, is just whatever you're doing in terms of social media and, and putting content out there, is you gotta be consistent. 
Um, you know, and, and that's the biggest thing is when you're going to post on social media to try to generate business or build your brand, it's not going to happen overnight. If, if you just started in real estate and people don't know you as a real estate professional, it's going to take some time of people seeing you, you know, post consistently and giving value before they say, okay, that's a person I would maybe do business with. Um, your friends and family aren't just going to go with you because you got your real estate license. It doesn't work that way. So being consistent, what's going to happen is over time, people's perception will change of you. They'll start to see you as that professional. They'll start to see you as the person with the knowledge. Um, and that can sometimes take, you know, a year, a few years, you know, before you really brand yourself within your community and your friends and family. So you have to be consistent. You're not just going to post you know, a just listed or a just sold, you know, post and all of a sudden expect to get a ton of business off of that. It doesn't work that way. What social media is going to do, guys, if you do it right, it's going to keep you top of mind with people. It's going to brand you. It's going to create credibility and trust and it's going to help you relate to people so that when the time is right and that person is ready to buy or sell, they think of you and they think of calling you for advice and then you take it from there. So. I hope this information is helpful because there's a lot of agents out there I see who are doing a great job at social media um, and there's a lot of agents who just aren't touching social media at all and I think you know you're doing yourself a huge disservice you know there's billions of people on Facebook so you got to go where the people are at so um, get out there be consistent put yourself out there be authentic and utilize social media to take your business to the next level. Uh, I hope this information helps you guys out. If you guys have any questions around building your business, marketing, branding, anything like that, I'd love to help you out. Feel free to you know click on one of the links, book a call with me, and I'd love to give you some free information and see how I can help you get to the next level. So take it easy, guys. Till next time.